Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your RAM, and your solid state drive in case you want to replace or upgrade those components. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. Now before we can get at our screws guys, there's actually two screws on this side um, in the back of your laptop you have to unscrew first and then you take a small flat preferably plastic pry tool I say plastic because it'll scratch your computer less uh, than a metal one but then you're going to go along this seam right here and pry off this panel from your computer once that panel is removed it will reveal this part of your computer which has a couple screws that we've got to get at to take this bottom case off to take the bottom case off, you would undo all of these screws and then you would use that same flat pry tool to go along the seam of your bottom case and gently but firmly pry your bottom case up from your computer. After you've gotten your bottom case up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now before touching anything inside a computer guys, I always either remove or unplug my battery. It just makes the computer safer because there's less power running through it, less chance to damage things. Your battery is right here. It's held in by four screws. If you want to physically remove your battery, if you want to simply unplug it, this is the battery plug right there. That black plug that goes into the metal port, you would pull this plug down toward the battery to unplug it. Okay, so after the battery has been removed or unplugged, it's safer to proceed deeper into the computer. This is your RAM right here underneath the shield, and these are your two solid state drive ports here. You have an 80 millimeter long one, and you got a 42 millimeter short one here. So this shield to the RAM guys, it's not screwed down. It, it, it just pries off slowly and carefully, pry that off. And you'll see these two RAM ports here. So this RAM guys, it's held in by two metal arms on either side, spring loaded. So to get this RAM stick out, what you would do is you would put your fingers on either of those metal arms and you would gently pry them apart from each other away from the RAM stick. That RAM will then release. It usually even pops up a little bit so you can un unplug it from that port. To get the RAM back in, you see the long side of the port and the short side of the port. So that RAM stick can only go in one way. You don't have to worry really about getting it in upside down. It, it won't fit in upside down. So put that RAM stick in, get it all nestled in there nice and flush. And then you put your finger right here and press it down and those metal arms will snap it into place and secure it that way. So that's how you would deal with your RAM. As far as your solid state drives, guys, you'll notice this small one, it's got a single screw right there on the end. If you had a longer one, it would have this single screw right on the end. So that's how the solid state drive is held in just by a single screw. And then you can unplug it from those ports. This long one, guys, this 80 millimeter, I think this supports up to Gen 3 solid state drives. And this shorter one goes up to Gen 4. As far as the RAM, you're looking at DDR5. And this RAM stick that was in this computer was PC54800B. Um, and I think this computer supports up to 64 gig total. So that means you can have two 32 gigabyte RAM sticks in here. Um, not a bad size of RAM. And again, you couple that with a couple different solid state drives. It's not a bad little computer. So um, if you had any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. Also, if you need any um, replacement parts or upgrade parts uh, for your RAM, your solid state drives, your batteries, whatever parts in the IdeaPad um, Gaming 3, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description showing you all of those upgradable parts, all of those replacement parts, as well as tools to get into the computer. So again, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs. If you do need to leave me a question, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.